Steve Forbes, the first year coach for Wake Forest. Opposed by Jim Christian on the opposite sideline and we are underway with Rich Kelly tracking it down for the Eagles. And as I said, they average close to 10 threes made per game. Nice move by Witt to shake his defender, Kamari Williams. Heath, a big part of that. 14 points per outing. Felder for three, and he's got it. Some steady offense from him throughout the year. Trying to work his way back is Felder in the post. Steph Mitchell in the post, defending Akpomo. Now here's DeBose to the rack. In December, he scored 22 points. 8 and 14. The three, and it is good. I'll drive to the hoop. Missed opportunity for BC. DeBose from the elbow. They're starting to heat up a little bit. Uh, they got to start making some of these open looks that they've had early on. Jay Heath, the double on the post, but he scores. That was a good touch by Heath. And the lane right here. Not bad, D. Help comes over. It's there. And that's just a tough shot. Great body control. It's really hard to win games when you're turning the ball over. I don't care what sport you're playing, basketball, football. Uh, again, if you turn the ball over and you give opponents easy opportunities. Rio Guama, the sophomore, 6'9", 205 pounds. Part of this rebuild for Steve Forbes in the three on the glass. Good rebound that time by Kamari Williams for the putback. And that's great work by Williams, and I think that's going to be the answer for Boston College. To also try to get the ball in the paint, whether it's off a dribble drive or get on the offensive glass. Right now, the three ball is not working for you. It's the first point, more than two and a half minutes. Kai Ashton Lankford just returning to the BC lineup. Now to Mitchell. Oh, what a block on the weak side by Oguama. Even better, keeping it in play. With the pull-up jumper. And the bank is open for Carter Witt. Well, he didn't call bank, but they'll take it. Wide open three off a dribble drive kick. How about the steal by Williams on the other end? Eagles with numbers on the break. Can they capitalize? They do with Jay Heath from distance. Well, if there's one knock on Carter Witt early on, and you would expect it. Antonio hit a three earlier. Good pass by Lankford and the touchdown to C.J. Felder. You can't do it any better. Makai Aston Lankford. Missed opportunities, obviously, uh, that's not something you want. That number needs to go up for Boston College from both beyond the arc and from the free throw line. That's a good sign right there, though. He had two threes and seven attempts against the Wolfpack. The drive by DeBose. Well, he's not afraid to drive the lane. They continue to corral loose ball rebounds. They've out-rebounded BC by 10, 23 to 13. And the jump hook by Oguama. Good defense by BC. The Bows, tenacious to the hoop. Uh, his progression at the next level. Rich Kelly, the left hand. I like the way he knifed through the lane. And Durham discussed what they believe is the Blue Devils' Achilles heel. It's youth and defense. It's coming up with the State Farm halftime report. And Oguama doing a nice job setting screens against this Boston College zone to try to set up ball handlers to get some mid-range jumpers. That's just discipline on the defensive end. They're walling off the post. Yeah, great help defense that time by Wake Forest. Or Jim Christian coming off the bench. The lob, and it was a beauty by Witt, and the slam. Outstanding play by Carter Witt to Oguam. Witt with his first assist, it was special. Stefan Mitchell, his first three of the night. Wake's largest lead of the half was eight. Jay Heath increasing the BC momentum. Boston College right back within striking distance. Heath has eight. Ian DeBose with the three. And you love his game. He's from Houston Baptist. Hey, 
three by Isaiah Musius, and there's the largest lead of the game. Another good look right now, though. Boston College in desperate need of a bucket, and Kamari Williams. You know, again, this is an opportunity for him, John. He had some nice energy plays in the first half, and that's a huge boost for his offensive confidence to knock down a three. That's his first three of the season. Nice job by Oguamo, who gains more confidence in the post. In that loss to NC State. Neath, baseline. Jacoby Neath has been aggressive off the bench for the break. They had four buckets and four assists. Nice drive by Jay Heath. Not afraid to drive the lane. But he's two for seven from the floor, and now a three by Ian DeBose. Dealing with the COVID issues for the last three weeks. And the drive by Jacoby Neath, who's been... Uh, but turned it right back over. Three by Antonio. And he just rode some momentum. Giving great offensive possession. What a move by Felder in the contact for the N1. Outstanding athleticism by C.J. Felder. So the Eagles trying to hang around. Antonio buries it. Oh, it's trying to set it to single digits. That's a big time three by Antonio. Heath, the dipsy do. Well done by Jay Heath. They're up by eight at halftime. Over the back, and well done. Isaiah Musius, industrious on the offensive glass. Well, that just can't happen. You're trying to get back into the game. Kai Ashton Langford with his first two of the night. With a miss, here comes Kelly. Nice drive by Kelly. Really nice scoring opportunities. Another nice play by Rich Kelly. Carter Witt, top recruit out of Raleigh, and he converts. Not a bad look. Another good uh, opportunity. Just unable to convert. What a putback by Musius after the miss by Masu. Nice job that time again on the offensive glass. And a putback by Jay Heath. He has 14 to match C.J. Felder's 14. Rich Kelly to Felder. Well done by C.J. Felder as his range has improved in his second year. Picked up full, and that really has changed uh, this game. Flummoxing Wake Forest. Good pass by Mitchell to Kelly for the two. Eagles cranking up the defensive pressure and feeding off of it. Uh, he is... Uh, equally important for Wake Forest. Must not pick up that four. Put back by Steph Mitchell. Wake Bench rightfully so upset. Jay Heath the three, and it's a one-point ball game. The catch by Oguama in the post. Boy, he is so tough to defend down there. Well, I'm impressed with his hands. Jay Heath launches and nails it. Certainly some love to Oguama as well, too. He dominated on oh both yeah. ends. He was enormous, and that will do it as Wake Forest walks away with a well-deserved four-point victory, and Steve Forbes 